Hello everybody and welcome to another demo video of the Circuit Abbey G8. Today we're looking at CV mode which is the second mode and what that mode does which is uh, interesting and unique instead of a clock input you give it a CV input any kind of changing voltage and it will trigger steps based on the voltage level. And this can lead to some interesting things, especially when you do this at very high audio rates. And it occurred to me that this might be a fun way to implement hard sync, which is a traditional synth technique. And it turned out to be kind of fun, so I'm going to show you some things with that today. Now, first of all, let's take a look at traditional hard sync. You start with two oscillators, a master and a slave. In this case, they're both just simple triangle waves. You have a master, you have a slave. And you can hear that um, there's a little tuning difference between them. There's a little phasing difference between them when I play them both at the same time. So you can hear that phasing warble by. So what we do in the traditional manner is we take a square wave out of our master oscillator, like so. And you notice the leading edge of the square wave lines up with the positive peak of the master waveform. And we're going to go ahead and put that into the sync input of our slave. So you can hear it and see it. And as you can see, we get a timbre change. And we get a pitch change because now it's nicely in tune. You can see how the triggering lines up. Now, in the normal case of hard sync, you do things by altering the pitch relationship of the two oscillators, things like that, which would give you timbral sweeps. But what we can also do is run that master triangle wave into the G8 in CV mode. And let's take a look at what we get. If we start at one end, we get a nice pulse wave and... In this particular case, I've used um, an Envy to attenuate the input wave a little bit and move it all up into uh, the positive direction so it's all higher than zero volts DC. Uh, it also worked quite fine when I just ran the wave straight in here, though. So if we hit, well, for here, we have this nice single square wave or pulse wave. We're here, we have a pulse wave that is starting at a different place on the waveform. This is kind of almost in line with that positive peak. But if we go in the middle, we have two pulses. One, of course, for the positive going side of the wave, one for the negative going side of the wave. And if we pick different outputs, we get a different relationship between those two peaks because we're taking different points on the triangle wave. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what some of these sound like. Here's our triangle wave. Uh, hold on just a second here. Oh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put our triangle wave back. Here's our triangle wave. Now let's go ahead and take this here and um, put it into our hard sync input. And again, if I use this point, I get something very much like traditional hard sync. Waveform looks almost the same. If I go up here, same result, but now we're offset 180 degrees in phase. Sounds the same here, but when I add the master oscillator in, you'll hear cancellation. Hear how that gets thin? So, if I go here, as I start moving up into the land of two peaks, I start seeing a second harmonic. And depending where I am on the wave, here it's kind of narrow, just up there at the peak. And as we move up higher, that gets more pronounced. We go all the way up to the top again, it's a real second harmonic. So instead of just a single hard sync point with the square wave, 
now you can go multiples. And just to make it interesting, when we talk about multiples, this is something really, really cool with this particular wave. With the G8, now I have eight possible places I can use the hard sync. So let's go ahead and take a clocked sequential switch and use that for the sync. And we'll take the inputs to the switch from various places on the G8. Start with them all in a row. And I've got a little sequence here where the clock for the sequential switch is moving at the same rate as the sequence. Now that alone count sounds kind of cool. So let's go ahead and add the sequence in. And what I'm going to do, rather than sitting here and talking at you, is I'm just going to move these inputs around to different places. And uh, right now, this oscillator is tracking one volt per octave with the sequencer. We're going to, at some point, take that away. if we speed up the clock to the sequential switch. back in. So once again, the G8 uh, CV mode, very, very interesting little mode there. There's a couple of other things you can do with it, and I'm going to do some more demos just on CV mode because it's pretty deep. I hope you enjoyed watching.